If this crowd represented the French public, Nicolas Sarkozy would be a shoo-in for the presidency. But they don't. They're activists from his party, here to see the divisive former head of state hit the unofficial campaign trail. I took the decision after reflecting on what we're going through. I reflected on what I managed to do and what could have been done differently after four years of travelling across France. Sarkozy started his comeback last year, convincing the centre-right UMP party to rebrand. Under his leadership, it became Les Républicains. He saw it as a vehicle to help him take the fight to François Hollande, the man who dethroned him in 2012. This partisan crowd certainly hopes he'll get the chance. He has the courage of his convictions. He's someone who makes decisions, even if they're not nice decisions. He's got a real will to carry out reforms. Very few are as brave as he is. But within the party, he faces several rivals. Opinion polls suggest most centre-right voters would prefer to see former Prime Minister Alain Juppé get the nomination. Nationally, almost four out of five people do not want Sarkozy back in the Elysee. In his new book, Just Out, Sarkozy promises policies that will go down well for this crowd. Things like greatly reducing the number of foreigners who can enter the country every year and halting economic migration. But he's also going further into far-right territory by identifying Islam as a specific problem. Nothing can justify the fact that 18 months after the Charlie Hebdo attacks, not a single de-radicalisation centre has been opened. Nothing can justify the fact that foreign terrorists are not forcibly removed from France. Sarkozy took power, promising to turn around the economy, but in the wake of the global crash, unemployment surged during his presidency. Internationally, he made more of an impact. France notably took the lead in bombing Muammar Gaddafi's forces in Libya in 2011. Ironically, Sarkozy stands accused of illegally receiving campaign finance from Gaddafi, one of several ongoing legal cases he's caught up in. Two years ago, he was humiliated, taken into police custody and questioned for 15 hours. Back then, many people thought his career was over. Clearly, it's not, but party primaries later this year will decide whether he gets to challenge for his old job. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, Chateau Renard in the south of France.